Hi all and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel about life in beautiful Spain. Today we're talking about the cost of living in Spain and because I love keeping track of exactly how much I spend each month, I'm able to share this with you guys. And this way you can get an idea of what it's like to live in Spain when you have around $1,900 to spend each month. If you're wondering why I'm using dollars, it's simply because this channel has viewers from all over the world, so let's keep it international. It is important to note that I live in the south of Spain, which is significantly cheaper compared to, say, Barcelona, but over recent years, the cost of living has been increasing down here as well, primarily due to the cost of housing. There's no doubt that personal spending is exactly that personal and what may feel like deprivation to some may feel extravagant to others. So don't worry, I will share my spending in a Spanish context to give you the full picture. Let's jump right in. So out of the $1,900 per month, I spend around $550 on housing. That includes my mortgage, utilities, insurance, community fees, and other expenses related to living here. For context, I live in a one bedroom apartment around 500 meters from the beach in Torremolinos, and I have access to pretty much everything. In my apartment, I also have a terrace and there's a shared pool in the building that is open during the high season. I have a pretty modest electricity consumption, only paying around 50 to $60 per month. For context, in general, my housing expenses are low, but more on that later. Next up, we have food, and on food, I spend an average of $300 per month. Of those $300, around $200 go towards groceries, and around $100 on restaurants, eating out, going out. I do eat out a couple of times per week, but rarely at expensive places, and one of the things that I love is to go out for breakfast, which in Spain is typically pretty affordable. This is seasonal though, as I tend to eat out more in summer than in winter. As for transportation, I do not have a car, which obviously makes a huge difference for my budget. The thing is that I do not actually need a car where I live because I have the train nearby. So I spend an average of $70 on transportation per month. This includes the occasional Uber, a train card, and since I use my bike, as in my bicycle, as my primary mode of transport, it does need the occasional repair. And of course, there was an upfront cost when I first purchased it. As for trips and travel, I obviously also have expenses related to transportation, but I will share that in another category that's coming up. All right, moving on to activities in Spain, on which I spend an average of $70 per month. Fortunately for me, a lot of the things that I like to do in my spare time are free, such as going for a swim, going for a hike, taking my bike for a spin, you know, so mostly I just need to pay for the occasional gear, the occasional gas if driving, and maybe an entrance fee here or there. Then I pay $60 per month on private health insurance, which is in addition to the mandatory state-funded health insurance we have here in Spain. This is optional, so you don't have to pay to this private insurance, but I definitely feel like it's worth the money. Then I spend around $50 per month on my co-working membership in the center of Malaga, which gives me the right to use a desk for X amount of hours each month. And now we've reached a category which I would call miscellaneous spending, and that accounts for around $400 per month. Because, well, I could further specify what I spend money on, but the amounts just keep getting smaller and smaller. So in this category, you'll find things like personal care, clothing, medicine, dental appointments, stuff from my apartment, vet expenses relating to my cat, new electronics, and so forth. Now, if we do the math, there are around $400 that are not accounted for so where do they go? Per month, on average, I spend $400 on travel. This includes trips inside of Spain, but most of this money goes to traveling abroad. In the past year, which is what I've made this average from, I have been to Germany, Switzerland, Denmark, my home country, Italy, Slovenia, and then a month-long trip to Indonesia and a short trip to London, and then a couple of trips inside of Spain, one of them being a ski trip to Sierra Nevada here in the south. This means that if you take away my travel expenditures, I spend an average of $1,500 per month just living in Spain, not traveling anywhere. But what does that kind of spending look like in a Spanish context? There is no doubt that there are many individuals working on a normal Spanish salary 
that do not have anywhere near $1,900 to spend every month. The average before tax income in Spain is around $1,800 and that is the national average and here in the south that number is lower. At the same time, I also know other internationals and digital nomads that live here who spend significantly more money than me, especially on categories like housing and food. If I were to rent a place like mine, as opposed to owning and paying a mortgage, I would probably be looking at having to pay something like $900 per month compared to the $550 that I'm paying now. In my opinion, in order to live comfortably in Spain, I would recommend to have at least $1,000 on top of your housing expenses. That is because the cost of accommodation depends on many factors, such as whether or not you live alone and how big of a place you need and how central you need to be. One other big factor is the region. So some regions in Spain, if you want to live in a remote village, you can almost live there for free. But anywhere that is popular and or up and coming, you'll have to pay significantly more. I myself, I'm a sort of digital nomad freelancer based here in Spain but I also spend a significant amount of time in other countries traveling as you can see from my expenses if you want to see what I spend those $400 of travel expenses on you're very welcome to check out my Instagram at Nina Friesen where I also post about life here in Spain so that's it for my life on $1,900 per month here in the south of Spain. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Spain content and it would help me out a lot if you click the like button so the video can get out to more people. Were you surprised about the cost of living in Spain? Don't forget to let me know in the comments. All right, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.